Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the set and reset cursor node. Well, this is the set cursor node and this is the reset cursor node. And if we run our example, we have our arrow. And when I go over our button, we now have a hand instead of the arrow because I set the cursor to the hand. When I click the button, we now have our arrow because I reset the cursor back to the default. That's it. It's a really simple set of nodes. Takes in a widget. So this works with a UMG system only. It will not work, for example, over your interface inside the world. You'd have to use a separate set of function nodes to do that. So in this case, we have our button as our target. And then which cursor do you want to be shown instead of the default? You can even have none, for example. And if you ever wish to reset it back to default, you call the reset cursor node, targeting again the widget you want to reset. So for example, slash circle. Maybe you want a button to be disabled and to show them it's disabled when they mouse over easily. Well, there we go. And of course, when I click it, it now has a reset cursor. This doesn't change the way the button works. You can still enable it and disable it and click it as you saw. It just changes the cursor that's shown when you mouse over. And that's it. Those are the set and reset cursor nodes. 